In the criminal justice system, marijuana-based offenses are considered especially heinous, almost as dangerous as communism. In 1940s Los Angeles, the dedicated detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as Cole Phelps and some random partner. This is their story. You know a Freddie Calhoun? I don't. Sure, I know Freddie needs oh, hey, to partner. get out of town. Pop a squat, right here. The whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can. Has he said how much it's going to cost? Fifty bucks. And the department will front me the fifty. You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. Another new day, another new partner. Hello, I'm. Why do all my partners hate me so much? Get moving, Phelps. Roy's informant is the skittish type. All right, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, hey, Captain. You never told me you knew Tom Hanks. That's really cool. Congratulations. Let's go, partner. We got work to do. 50 bucks? Do they think I'm made of money? I mean... No, you just look like you're made of money. It is a really nice oh, very suit. very good. The kid's on form. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today, which you can be <laughs> pleased with. I am. Thank you. Do you ever listen to yourself? I don't have the same voices in my head as you do, Cole. Wait. Does he know about me? Does he know about me as the voice in Cole's head? Oh, God. He's a really good detective. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hello, ladies. How we doing today? I'm Cole Phelps. You may have heard of me. A cop from the newspapers. Exactly. That's me. I'm going up to the lakes to watch the races on Saturday. Oh, are you inviting me? bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Excuse me, sir. Um, ladies, I would love to join you at the lake. Um, just talk to my secretary here, okay? Hey, take care of them, all right? And I'm going to be back. We got things to do. Yeah, I know. I got to go bust some marijuana crimes, so, you know, cop stuff. We'll see you ladies later. Oh. Oh, tell me this is our car. Oh. She is a beauty. Ooh. I love it. I love getting promoted. Quitua. Oh, gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. Get in, partner. We are going to Mike Lyman's bar. Looks like a nice place set as destination. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? We're going to listen to her purr. Ooh. 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 Take the next right. All right, I'm going. I'm going. Get this. Uh-huh. Middle of the afternoon, this crazy woman decides to set fire to the hotel she lives in. The fire brigade come and put it out. A couple hours later, she does it again. Phones up Central and says, I've set fire to my hotel twice today. You better come and get me. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> then what? send some uniforms around to get her? Excuse me. No, that's the best part. The desk sergeant, he gets a share of crank calls, says, all right, Lady Nero, why don't you come on down here? Ooh. An hour later, she shows. Hair still smoking, clothes smoldering, smelling like a bright fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I like your stories. Where are we? Oh, there's the bar. Mike Lyman's bar, huh? Could really use a better name, don't you think, partner? Coming in. Hello, everybody. There's a little sneak. Where? That's him in the back, Cole. Back there? All right. Yeah, bowl of that chili. Hey man, just gonna take a little swig, all right? God damn it! Oh. I asked them to hold the mayo. Hold the mayo. It wasn't great, but you're real nice. Oh, you two are on a date, huh? Wait, did they put mayo on your pork chops? They they put mayo on the pork chops, sir? God, I'm sorry. Season from hell. I'm sorry. Did you <laughs> did you did you put mayo on the pork chops, sir? That is a federal crime. You don't do that, okay? I'm gonna have to. Shut this place down. Oh. Operator, give me dispatch. Yep, dispatch. I need all of the forces. All of them. Thank you. There was mayo on the Cold pork chops. Batch 1247. This is serious, sir. Yeah, you better run. You better get out of here. How could I help, detective? Uh, there was mayo on the pork chops, ma'am. Please. 
All right, you can bribe me with free booze. That's I'm fine. I'm sorry, officer, but there ain't nothing going on in there that is worth telling you about, all right? <laughs> you have the greatest voice ever. I'm going to let it slide. Ma'am, you are welcome to come on through. Is Just go through. Okay. Specialness? We'll make this awkward. That's fine. Excuse me. Just go. Yep. All right. Hello there. Freddy. You're looking good. Yeah. Oh, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, Ooh, right here. 20. Very clever. Do you want the sit. money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Who's he? Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. Tijuana. 50 pounds a week. Holy 50 shit. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? Get stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name of Juan God, Garcia Freddy. Cruz. But be careful. Okay. He likes guns. Oh, Jesus. Do I get my money? Do me uh, a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Yeah, Freddy. Let's go visit this Cruz character. 50 pounds of dope. Crazy. That is a lot. Oh, look at the paintings. Is that, a, is that a setter of some sort? I like it. I like it. Keep up the good work, toots. 50 pounds of dope. Oh, that would kill the entire population of Los Angeles based on what I know about drugs. Hey, um, partner, do you want to see a movie? Do you want to see a movie instead? Because it sounds like there's a lot of drugs. I'm up. I'm up. But, you know, also guns. So we could just we could just go see Crossfire instead is what I'm thinking. Then we don't have to worry about dying. No? That's fine. That's cool. Hop in. Let's go. Juan Garcia Cruz Residence. Ah, uh, look at that. It's a beautiful day. The sun's shining. Nothing bad is going to happen here. I feel it in my bones. Here we go. You believe a story? Sure. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score. Greater movie season. See, I told you we should have gone to see Crossfire, okay? <sighs> now we have to go out here looking for drugs and and guns and who knows what else. Alright, it should be right around here. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I'm a cop. This it? Oh. Uh. Hey, me. There's a guy in the window with with a gun. Oh shit! This. Oh god. Call for help. Oh god. This is bad. This is very bad. Yeah, you get out of here, partner. I'll take care of this. Oh. 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 Super cop. Do I have a gun? Do I have a... Yes. Ooh. Hello? Alright, we got one guy there. Oh, God. And one guy there. Alright, here we go. Pow, 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 pow. Ow, God, he shot me in the arm. Oh, God. My arm is so wobbly. Okay, got him. One down. Blap, blap, blap. Blap, blap, blap. Oh, shit. And it's the electric chair. Oh, okay. Just gonna do a little peeking. Oh, what a shot. I'll ask you politely to move on. Next time I won't be so nice. Ooh. They are not gonna get up, are they? Yikes. Uh. Oh, yep. He did. You guys don't have to leave a mess. What happened? Oh, I shot him. Dope peddler. Juan Cruz. You open fire and... Well, the rest of the story tells itself. Detectives, you'll want to come meet Mr. Fickman, the neighbor. Sounds like he's got something for you. Interesting. Mr. Fickman. Oh, he's got drugs, right? Right, partner? Let's see what our friend down here has. Oh. Yeah, you got shot a lot. I'm surprised you... Why is my hat on? Hua. All right, let's do a little bit of a pat down. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Ooh, little, little. No, nope, we're good. And hey, Paul, let's get moving. Hold on, I'm checking it. Wait, what is this? Ah, uh, mass over dollar. I thought they took these things out of circulation. Huh? Or is it Sam? Is it a Massachusetts half dollar? You just collecting coins? What else we got in here? Hmm, a wallet? 
Yes. Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. Hmm. He has no money, so the drug business wasn't really treating him very well. Oh, but he had a cool gun. Yeah, like a gangster. Pa 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 pow pa pow. Oh, I feel like Capone, you know? Is Capone around at this point? I don't. Uh, who knows? You guys will get it eventually. Parnell's Doesn't soup company. Regular meals anymore. Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers Wait. living on soup. Are all these boxes soup? All the good ones, Phelps. Why do they have so much soup? What is this? Masenke? Is this a drug or a village in Borneo? Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. Masenke. Look at this tiny little notepad. Cute. This is a... This is a mystery. I'm guessing. Just a hunch here, gentlemen. It's not soup in all these boxes. Really dirty cups? These guys did not do the dishes very often. What's in this book? Oh, wow. He's actually pretty talented. It's kind of cool. Look at the butt on that mermaid. I like that. I dig that. Oh, I'm guessing they didn't sleep here, unless all this soup just really got to him and he just crashed through that bed. 20th century market. These are the guys keeping Juan so well stocked with soup. Yep. Parnell's canned minestrone soup. 12 cents. It's a good deal. Anything else in here? There's a gun on the floor. Oh, look how daintily I'm holding it. I'm such a good cop. And what is this? Pencils. Sure. Why not? Oof. Yeah, that guy is dead. Sorry about that, everyone. I did it. That was me. Let's go see what the neighbors got to say, shall we? Hello there, sir. My name is Detective Cole Phelps. I heard you have a word for me. Detectives Phelps and Durrell, we were told you... Always knew they were up to no good. D did you? Son of a bitch spent more time in the chicken coop than in his house. Chicken coop. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's very helpful. And next time you witness suspect behavior through the crack in your curtains, please call us before something like this happens. So you're a nosy guy. The chicken coop. Did you hear that, Earl? I guess your name is Earl? We're gonna go check out the chicken coop. Is that in the backyard or something? So here's the chicken coop. I hope there's chickens. Maybe they just had a keen interest in farming, you know? I don't see any chickens. Uh, okay. Just a lot of, you know, cans. Sugar? Cole, we got things to do. <gasps> they were smuggling out nuts and bolts. I'm stumped. Ideas? Sounds like we need to check out the chicken coop. I mean, there's nothing here, man. It's just... Looks like a normal... I'm guessing there's gonna be something in one of these? It just looks like a normal chicken coop to me. Fly spray? Be rid? Flower? <laughs> Phelps, <sighs> you jump like a girl. Dude, shut up, all right? <coughs> I was, um, did not expect that at all. Why was that a thing that happened? None of these are... Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, partner, did you just see that I opened a secret door? You're not going to say anything about that? All right, fine, I'm going in myself. Whoa, what a cool chicken coop. What is this? Oh, we can open up some soup cans. More soup? Who in the hell Tomato soup. soup. Open. 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 How do I... Aha! Yeah, I'm hungry. Hungry for some secrets. What's in the soup? Oh, that's not I'd tomato that's soup at all. This Factory is sealed. marijuana. So cannery has a lot of explaining to do. Ooh. What's in the potato and leek soup? I wonder if it's more of these sweet Lady Janes. Oh, excuse me. It is. Mmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. That is primo grade A marijuana. Stop smoking. Parnell's Soup Company Delivery Redger. Redger? It's a Redger. With Juan dead, uh, we need what? a suspect call. Tijuana. Yeah, Tijuana. Isn't that where he said it came from? EJ. 50 pounds. This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. The dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Yeah. 
Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. All right. What do you think? The soup factory. Where else? Yeah, that seems as good a place to go as any. Wow, what a crazy twist. 50 pounds of marijuana in soup cans every single week. That's a lot. Hmm, Parnell's Soup Co. 20th Century Market. Kroger uh, says the morphine is still turning up. What? Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. Hmm. To the soup factory. Oh! Okay, he jumped into the car. All right, he turned around, went butt first, so he wouldn't get hurt. He's just trying to get a tax write off. It wasn't my fault. And we're here. Parnell's Soup Factory. This is a really nice place. Right. Let's see if we can find out who's been overseasoning the soup in this place. <laughs> oh, good one, Earl. I like your style. LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Howard Parnell. Obviously. I'll let him know you're here. Thank you. Please take a seat. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. If you must. Oh, we must. Let's do this, partner. Follow this dame up these stairs here. Oh, we're up here. If okay. You show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. That's us. Follow me, gentlemen. Why'd you say it like that? That was weird. How many secretaries does this place have? Are you gonna hand us off to another secretary? Oh, why, hello, Mr. Parnell. What is going on? LAPD. Sit tight, fatso. Yeah. You could be in very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. You only have one chair, though. Maybe you oh. can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana <laughs> in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. You're outrageous. How do you explain it, chubby? We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on them. Can That's I get a list right. of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. Oh, oh you're very speedy, Doris. Oh, so smiley. Wow. Hi. Thank you for that. That was a great little show. She placed that perfectly. You've got good help here, sir. Let me just take a gander. All right, who am I looking for? Any name on that list that rings a bell? EJ. I'm looking for an EJ, right? EJ. EJ? EJ. All right, maybe it's not EJ. Uh, is there another name on here that I would recognize? Oh, yes. Jorge Garcia Cruz. Isn't that where we just were? This is familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas. A uh, Jorge Garcia Cruz. Mm-hmm. And I guess we're just going to get right into it. Oh, why, hello, sir. Have you ever thought about getting a hair transplant? Because I just want to say that with, like, a good hairline, maybe even a faux hawk. Oh, yeah. That's, that is a good look, sir. Anyway, factory sealed soup cans. Tell me about those. The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. Mm, he's staring right at me. I think I believe him. Maybe? Ah, he did, he did glance away a little bit during it. Yeah, there was a little bit of an eye glance in the middle of it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna guess bad cop. Tell me what I want to know, Parnell, or I will have half the LAPD down here tearing this place apart. You're hiding something. Am I right in thinking you would not want to pursue misdemeanors outside your drug case? Oh, Depending Jesus! Depending on what you call a misdemeanor, we might be prepared to turn a blind eye. The truth is, I employ a lot of illegals. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Most of my factory staff are wetbacks. The local blacks and Chicanos all want jobs in aircraft factories. Presumably because the pay is a lot better. Mm-hmm. All right. What about your company, sir? How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering <laughs> a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. Oh, you are such a bad liar. Okay, the first time you were actually a pretty good liar, but this one, this one was bad. Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. Okay, so things are a little flat. 
We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. Wow. That's a lot of minestrone. And what do you know about the Cruz bros? Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. Oh, gosh. This guy. Will he ever tell me the truth, Earl? A bad cop. That's funny, Parnell. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering. Like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on? Uh, I'm sure correct. thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. And this inside man, Jorge Garcia. Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. Mm-hmm. All right, I believe him there. Uh, take me to him. So he's here now? No, maintenance is at night. Uh, night shift finishes around midnight. He would usually come in around 9 p.m. and have everything ready for the morning shift at 6. Okay. We'd like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. You're welcome. I'll show you around myself. Okay. It's an honor. Let's go, Earl. After you. Ah, you're the worst. Hold on. Ah, oh, he's so fast for a fat guy. Oh, we're here. Wow. This is gonna be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. This is cool. This is where the produce comes in. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. Fascinating. Bye. Why don't you keep quiet? I've learned something. Oh, good God. This really is turning into some nightmare school trip flashback. This is the hopper, which boils and purees the vegetables. The other hopper is for the pasta. Okay. This way, please. Sure. You're loving this, aren't you, Phil? It's kind of cool being in the factory, right? The soup is ladled automatically into cans. Next page is labeling. I'd like to see the packing and dispatch area, if you don't mind. Sure. It's over here. Follow me. This is one of our dispatchers. Sergio, right? Yes, sir. These we should take a look at the, the delivery LAPD. board. Sergio here records our outgoing deliveries. They all go in the book. Just there on the desk. All right. You don't mind if I have a look, do you, Sergio? Let's see. What do we have in here? 20th Century Market is getting the most. Oh, 20 at Kohl's. 20th Century Market is getting them all the time. 15 boxes. What's going on, Parnell? There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? I'd like a private word with your dispatcher, if you don't mind. Sure, go right ahead. I'll be over here when you need me. All right. Hello, Sergio. Ho oh, you and I, were going to have a little chat. Can I have a look at that coin? Sure, why not? Oh, another silver dollar? Silver Dang. dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. Huh. I like it. it brings me luck. I'm sure it does, but it also connects you to my crime scene, Sergio. Oh, look at him. He's so unhappy. Just a big frown. Poor Sergio. Unhappy. Tell me about these factory sealed soup cans. Do you have access to the canning area? I do. But I keep to my station. Loading and unloading. Don't care much for soup. Oh, I'm sure you don't, but I bet you do care for marijuana. Sergio, if you don't give me something, I'm going to go to immigration services and have you deported. I get a shipment once every two weeks. Ernesto does the driving. I don't know his full name. It's 
delivered here at night, mm -hmm. Jorge gets it canned up. From here it gets sent all over the country. I'm sure it does. Hmm. And the 20th century market where all the soup is going. What do you know about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No, not me. Oh, oh, but I disagree, sir, because you have a silver dollar. You're a liar, Sergio. You're in it, and I'm going to break you for it. That's right. I got nothing to do with Juan Garcia. Oh, but you do, because he's got a silver dollar just like you. We found a matching silver dollar on Juan Garcia. What are the odds of that, Sergio? Juan and Jorge are brothers. They're cousins. They work for some evil gabacho. Gabacho. The guy is an aberration. He gives out the silver dollars. Jorge gets me a list of deliveries every morning. 20th century is always on. Hmm. You keep your mouth shut for today, and I don't take you in. Do we have a deal? Do I have a choice? Nope. Is that a serious question? <laughs> Punk. That's it for now, Sergio. If we need to speak to you again, we'll put in a call to Mr. Parnell. If you have to, I guess. We will be in touch, Mr. Parnell. It is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks. I'll do that. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, Ugh. aren't you? Ugh. Cheer up, fatso. We're going to let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. Well, until some commie union types infiltrate this place. I am glad to be out of that place. I never knew fresh vegetables could smell so bad. Hey, I kind of like soup, actually, you know? Like myself, I've got a really bad voice right now. I could really use just a nice hot cup of soup. Looks like we are going to the 20th Century Market. Destination set. How many set. years have you been in Vice, Roy? More years than I want to own up to, Phelps. You have any idea who Rojas was talking about? Ringo runs the operation? Could be anybody. You don't expect those morons to be running the show, do you? You ask Rojas how much a silver dollar is worth, you'd probably say 50 cents. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. No, don't turn. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. No, no, no. I didn't, I didn't mean to, okay? Don't look so angry at me, I'm sorry. I didn't. Just strike it from the record. I'll bribe you. 20th Century Market? Hello, hello. Sit tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Can I get out? Either these customers are serious soup lovers. Oh. Or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, Roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. Hmm. A lot of soup buyers. Oh, and I'm out of the car. Wow, they got here really, really, really quickly. Yeah. Oh. LAPD, nobody move. I'll take my chances. Oh shit, that guy. Oh, I gotta chase him. Yes. Oh, I love a good chase. It's been a while. Get out of my way, sir. Get out of my way. Oh shit, what? Okay, oh, hi. We're just gonna. Why? Why do people uh... just insist on getting in fist fights with me? Do I look really weak or something? Do I have, like, no upper body strength? Because I just destroy... Bonk! Oh, that'll do it. These fists. Dangerous. Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. Ah! Yes. I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. You can't take me in. Take you in? Be glad he didn't shoot you. Yeah. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you. 
But I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Don't make me hit you your again. Compadres? Turn out your pockets. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there it is. Give it to me. Give it to me. Okay. I need Ray to run down these silver dollars. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Oh, and a little bit of extra for me, huh? Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, Sanchez thank you. Erto. Take the money. Mexican Tijuana address. Hmm. Tijuana, huh? Suspicious. Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. Hmm. Perfect. Knowledge of EJ. Give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. Yeah. I run the shop. That's all I do. You are such a liar, sir. Such a liar. Uh, and I know, I know that you know EJ, because guess what? Tell me the goddamn truth. You are in this with the others. I told you I know them. I told you my family's at risk. What makes me part of their gang? The silver dollar, my boy. The silver dollar. It's you always the right dollar, answer. Erto, just like Juan. I'm sure Ernesto and the rest have them as well. The silver dollars are his mark. Mm -hmm. Who's? Give me a name. None of us are allowed to see him. His creatures carry his orders to us. Creatures? If I gave you his name, I would be buried alongside my wife and children. If you don't give us something, you will rot in jail while your family starves on the street. Ernesto Juarez, tonight EJ. at 1 a.m. He's bringing the truck into the soup factory. Please help me, sir. Ernesto can be very cruel. Oh, I'm sure he can. I'm sure he can. Tell me about the soup. Tell me about the soup cans. The soup is very popular, as you can see. <laughs> Wrong. It's drugs. You're funny, wise guy. You want to try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7.30 every other day from the factory. Jorge organizes everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very likely. And what about Jorge? We know about Jorge and Juan. Juan is dead. Tell us how you know the Cruz boys. Ernesto put together this thing. He brought in Juan. Juan brought in Jorge. Um, yeah, okay. I think he was telling the truth on that one. Continue. I was already here. Ernesto knows I'm illegal, so he threatened to report me if I didn't help. And the money is good. Mm -hmm. The gringos and the gringas, they love the reefer. And I didn't want to have to leave and start again in San Francisco. You're no one wants to go there. Heart. You're under arrest, Erto. Yep. I'll speak to the DA and see if he will agree to not seize your assets or deport you. That's You're the best welcome. I can do. Sorry, Erto. You shouldn't have done dealings with marijuana. It'll ruin everybody. Right, Earl? Oh, we're on a stakeout. Freddy said they were moving 50 pounds a week. That's a lot of soup cans. I think this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. Local weed gets distributed in the usual way, through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. Oh, shit. The drug cartel. Here to pick up the most dangerous weapon, marijuana. Let him unload the goods first. So, um... Now? Uh, Let's get him. Okay, here we go. Can I... Get, aha! Wait, what? Wait, are we chasing? What the... I thought we were going in. Are we going in? I'm so confused. Ah, I'm go. I'm going. I thought maybe we were not gonna like drive. You know, I thought we were gonna maybe run in, but I guess we're driving. Oh, tight turn. Oh. All right, move. Oh, oh, move. oh God. Let's go. Get out of here, hat. They've got guns. Stop getting. You're getting shot. Get behind cover. You're just dying. Oh my God. Okay, gentlemen, we'll take the. Come lead. on out. Go, got him. Go. Get in there. Okay, I'm going. Give me some cover. Got him. 
Hello? Oh shit. There's so many in there. Alright, I'm gonna make a break. I need cover! Oh dear god. Ugh, ugh, run it. Oh, oh, oh shit. This is so intense. Okay. Oh. Oh. Push forward. Got him. Oh, I am such a good shot. Best cop ever. Ow. I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh, oh. Woo. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh, shit. Got him. I think it's like one guy left. Maybe. Hey, punk, I'm here. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, where, where's the last guy? Oh. Oh. Holy shit. Holy shit. Detectives. Found something here you probably want to see. What, what's that? I'm coming. Sorry about... Wow, that's a lot of dead people. My bad. Ooh, you found a dead guy? Yeah, I've seen these. Oh, he's got the silver dollar. Look at that. ALS. One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. Anything else on you, sir? Looks like it. Sea of grass. Tijuana address. We should see what the Federales have on him. Hmm. He was going to see a movie, too. So sorry about that. Looks like... You're gonna have to get a refund. I think we found our stash, Cole. Take a look in these boxes. All right. What do you got? Oh my god! Look. At the very minimum, another fifty Holy pounds. Holy shit! That is so much marijuana. This is the crime of the century we just Any solved. Ideas? Detectives. All clear. I think we look got around. the guy. Give the body to one over while you're at to you. It. it does, sir. It certainly does. Oh, you found him, huh? Interesting. Well, well, well. What did you die holding? Just a big fat lot of cash. Thousand dollars here. Wow, that's a big old fat wad. Here you go, partner. Buy yourself a new suit. And look at that. Another silver dollar. Yet another silver dollar. Phelps, Earl, looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Pot. Of money. What else? Speaking of money, where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. Mm hmm. The department owes me 50. Ray, mm -hmm. I have another two coins for you. Great. I've got something to show you. It's all set up on the table over here. Interesting. There. Take a look at these coins you've been collecting. Okay. Eng Al's K Metmas. Pick up, okay. Huh. Oh, so it's like an anagram. Wait, um. Didn't I have a weird thing? Not this. Clues. Yes, this. Mass Eng K. So, mass. Ang K, right? The first coin, M A S. The second, A M G. Metals. The third, K A Y. The fourth, M E T. The fifth, A L S. Masang K Metals. Of course. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Yes. Would I ever? 1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. We'll finish up here. Perfect. It's already been a long night, Phelps. It's about to get See longer. If talk them into giving themselves up. Not when I have a gun. Let's go, old reliable. Massing K Metals, set as destination. Partner, you took so many bullets today. Hope you're ready to take a few more. And here it is, right in the middle of the city, huh? Interesting, very interesting. We 
need another way in. Um. All right. Racing K Metal Foundry. Can we hop over a wall over here? Maybe. Oh wait, yeah. Look at there's barbed wire broken over there. Come over here, partner. I think I've got our way in. Just gotta do a little bit of wall hopping. Should be easy enough for some fit guys what like us. Yeah. Do I have a gun? Where's my gun? Uh, I don't feel comfortable without my gun. I'm actually a little nervous. There's a big old drug cartel and their boss is here. You with me? Good. And I don't have my gun out. I'm a little bit spooked. A little bit spooked, partner. The moon looks gorgeous tonight, though. Hello? Gangsters? Oh, we're doing we're doing the sneakies, huh? I guess they're right in here. Cover the back door, Roy. Do I have a gun now? Yes. Oh. All right, Roy, or Earl, as I've been calling you the entire episode. They're playing poker. They're playing poker in there. Put them up, boys. Put them up. Don't shoot. Oh, you're. Oh, oh, oh. Come out, come out! Oh, that's two. Just one left. Yeah, I dare you. I dare you to poke out. Oh, what? Where did that guy come from? Okay, there's uh, more than a couple of them here. I guess your hand of poker was a bad one. What is that? That's not even a good catchphrase. There's more? We got more? Roy? Roy Earl? You okay? I'll we gotta go up. I see what's waiting for us at the top. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. I hope you've got my back, partner. This is spoopy. I really wish I could have a How flashlight. You, you can hold out? Hello? Yeah, get up here. Anyone playing poker? I saw you. Your little head. They have machine guns. Why do we have no backup? I'm running. I'm running. I need cover. Roy, cover. Worst partner. I'm nervous. My gun just does not want to shoot. Got him. Okay. Don't care if I need to reload or not. I just can't. I can't fire the trigger quickly, or it won't register it. I know you're back here. Hello? Oh. Oh. Hello? Anyone else? Definitely dead. Ooh. Head shat. Is there another level? Man, this metalworks factory has seen better days. Hello? Anyone up there? Guess we're going up. Roy, you are the worst at giving cover. You're and your buddies are dead. Oh. Ooh. Cover me. Do you know what the word cover means? I think there's only one left though. You Took out. Move, mister. Oh. Seriously? Are there more? Oh, dang, Roy, you scared me. You've done nothing. Have you even fired a shot yet? I have done this entire raid. Oh. LAPD, hands yeah. Up. Gotcha. Victor Sanders. You know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? We have a mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Oh. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind your back! Roy?
Working vice can be a thankless task, Phelps. But on behalf of the brass and the moms and dads and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you. Thank you. And your partner. You did for nothing. Smashing this dope ring. He did nothing. Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as Kami. That's correct. What about Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. The chief will be looking after that one person. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Wait, 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 Don't wait. Don't push your luck. Wait, seriously? Sanders is no longer your problem. No, 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 no. <sighs> and that is a story. How I found out I worked in a corrupt police department. <sighs> there was only one thing left. And that was my final mission. Where I would solve, presumably, all of these problems. Maybe. I don't know. Or else it was a regular case. I don't know. But we're going to find out next time.